as amateurs and even now in the amateur system when we talk about man those international fighters are hard the international fighters do things a little differently than we do. I, have y'all ever seen that punch? Have the right, I that? wanted to touch on that. I said, I said on a video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, usually down on the a, middle, he on a video uh, game. Only, like on only we, the we, closest we, thing is beautiful Ma Madonna. A little. My, no, I mean Marquez. Kinda? Marquez in in the first Pacquiao fight. There's a few highlights. Of, Marquez hit him with that shot a couple times. But Marquez. remember in that first fight, he it threw it Floyd, like that. Floyd. It was like boxing. On Floyd was more straight down the middle. Textbook on we boxing. The punch would come from off the screen because yeah. it's like you're here, and all of a sudden, I mean, he's throwing it way. Hey, hey, Carson, I feel like can we, how are you doing? Yeah, yeah. And it's <laughs> right in the ear. I feel like you're like, you hear it. Well, it's a beautiful <laughs> shot. Manny was yeah. catching them, but yeah. they still seemed like they was. It was a homing. They was getting through to his ear every every time. He hit you with one of those? No, he never hit me with oh, okay. that. But where was we? We you have a hall of fame no. corner. Yeah. How do you not make an adjustment off of that? And I Freddie said, Roach. I, I said, even for I said, shame on me for not thinking to say this, but why hasn't Manny tried rolling underneath that right hand? He did it he, once. He, yeah. the, the adjustment he made, which is is a good adjustment, is keeping the right is keeping the left hand at home. Yeah. But even beyond that, if you roll, it gives you an opportunity to counter. Right, the judges still score that so yeah. a lot of times, yeah. and yeah. he was getting it around the guard and anyway. He was around Your the boy guard. Keith Thurman, he said before the fight. That the length of that shot yeah. is what's going to get, and you could see Manny would try to pull out and get out of range, and he just couldn't get yeah. out of range of yeah. that. Yeah, and and a lot of that was Ugas. This is one thing we gave him a lot of credit for heading into the fight. We just didn't know if he could make up for the speed difference with it, but his timing is excellent. Yeah. You know, yeah. great timing. That that right hand was one thing that, that was beautiful, and then he did, you know, just mention the cute things he did. He did this double jab. Where the first one was soft, mm -hmm. and then the second one was hard, and and usually it's kind of the other way around, yeah. right? You know, <laughs> really <laughs> deliver the first but, one, then just kind or, of or, the first one that actually showed that to me was Shane Mosley. Right, like, he's like, you know, take some of the steam off the first one, and then and then pop the second one. Yeah, I, I don't, me? I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what to go the other way around. Actually, I don't, I don't know what to go fast and then slow, or or I, usually just both are fast. Then. I meant, yeah, yeah, both yeah, yeah, are fast. Yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, right. Yeah, and and yeah. I, I usually don't see a little soft touch bang, and yeah. that was beautiful. Yeah. And my my my, my dumbass. Before the fight, I'm saying, and I asked you about it, and I go, is he is he fast enough to land body shots in the center of the ring? Ain't he going to have to get Manny to the Man, his timing was so good. First 30 seconds, whoop, whoop, un, snuck it underneath, yeah. right hand to the body. Mm -hmm. Timing really helped beat speed, even though timing, timing beat speed last night. Yeah. Facts. But yeah. I still thought that the senator, I still thought the great Manny Pacquiao maybe could have uh, pulled out. It was the kind of fight where I'm, I was watching it, and I'm like, it's it's real, to, and I'm watching it 20 rows up, I'm not watching it on TV, I'm not watching the ringside, but I'm saying this is kind of the fight I'm watching where 20 rows, huh? Yeah. Been one looking out. Hey, chill out. <laughs> Put away podcast. Yeah. I'm looking out either. I'm just putting him on. That's the PR people, baby. <laughs> that's the PR people, baby. It's unreal. But come on, crazy. PR people, fight hype. We need both be on that's the floor. Crazy. But he, uh, uh, it was the kind of fight where I'm watching where I'm like. They could really take this either way. Yeah. They could either give, say, Ugas is winning this fight because his accuracy is better. Yeah. And he's probably landing the better shots. Or they could just go, you know, and another good right hand for Ugas, but not enough. Too many lulls in between. And Pacquiao, with his combinations, is outworking the younger he guy. Threw a hundred, and he threw 100 more punches. 400 more punches. More punches. Yeah. So I, I still looked at the fight as if, if you wanted to give it to Manny, that's cool. You know, um, but... Right guy probably won because at the end of the day, clean punches is what we're here for, right? Yeah. And Ugas was cleaner. But I just want to say, I thought at 42, I would have been okay if you had it a draw or if they thought Manny Pacquiao pulled yeah, it out. It, it wasn't a fight where if, if they had said Pacquiao would have been disgusted right. or robbery or anything to that extent. There weren't a, a ton of very lopsided rounds. No. Like mm -hmm. every, most of no. the rounds had the same <laughs> blueprint. Mm -hmm. A lot of activity for Manny. Less activity, but better accuracy and probably cleaner shots from Ugas. Like almost every round <laughs> was that formula. Listen, so. I, I I scored every single round, and there were rounds where I was like, "Now I know how the judges feel because right. my heart wants to give this round to Manny." Mm -hmm. But what I'm seeing and what logic is telling me that Ugas won that round, I'm like, in good conscience, I can't even do it. Yeah. Like I I can't. I don't know how accurate my score is because I was like, I'm like. 
I can't do this. I gotta give it to the guy. Yeah, I was like, I, I can't do that to Manny, and that's just how it goes from the, from a judging standpoint. You and, know? I, and I think to look back at it, especially uh, with close rounds, a lot of people may owe you an apology because that's kind of how you post a fight. Hey, you got to fight Ugas like that. Yeah, hey, I went and back. I, like, I thought he won that fight with Ugas. Hey, I don't. But okay. it, it, that's it, my guy. It, 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 we had a conversation yeah. behind the scenes. Right. It, is, it is funny now looking at just from obviously your perspective that some people now are like. Oh, it really wasn't that bad of a performance from Sean. You know, even if right. you edge Ugas in a close fight, and then other people were like, "Man, imagine if they would have robbed him against Porter." And I'm like, <laughs> man, oh, okay. I, I just like, gotta say, for my boy, man, like they, y'all go too crazy with that. Like it was a robbery. Yeah, I, yeah. I rewatched that fight really twice. Fight. The man was leaking from his mouth after three or four rounds from the yeah. jab. Okay, yeah. and and he kept trying to in the last ten seconds. The biggest problem make is faces at Sean and, and yeah. try to take the round at the end. I'm just saying. You won that fight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And not fight though, but, and I mean, no, no, you know, no the biggest big, yeah. the biggest thing is a lot of us were just like, I'm is, John's who friend. Is, who just is like, who, who is this? Yeah. It was something we never seen before. And obviously, I don't know shit about boxing because you guys knew what the hell you was doing. Right. We my dad knew that the adjustment was gonna be making Ugas move and use his feet. We knew that he didn't have, you know, certainly not the type of feet that I have, but we knew that we would have an advantage in terms of him trying to find us. Yeah. And we were, I felt like we were able to outbox him. I didn't feel like the fight was close. It is what it is. But I mm-hmm. will say this, someone in his camp, I won't say who it is, but someone in his camp said, hey, you, you got that. He said, but I told him you were going to do that. I said, what? How the hell you knew? He said, he said, man, I've been watching you for a long time. I knew you were going to box like that. That's funny. Here's the thing. Ugas was really amped up for a firefight with me. He thought we were going to be in the center of the ring going Understand, toe to toe. Understandably so. Out the same, out same way. And yeah. when that didn't happen, he could not get his mind to turn on to. Like doing eventually he's going to come. Yeah. And then you came once. And yeah. And, and he could not turn his mind on to doing anything else. With this fight here with Manny Pacquiao... He had multiple things that he was prepared to do against Manny, and he was able to execute all of them yeah. through the course of twelve rounds. And it also we, and the on the sorry, no, but good. the other side of that was Manny never did anything different. That, again, Manny but he never 42. has. Again, yeah. Manny, being Manny's always gotten it yeah. done. But Manny has He's, always done this. And, Manny's and, always and, done this, and he <laughs> didn't attempt that last and, night. I thought he did sometimes. There were a few times he got he shot off his a couple couple times, but it but never to set anything yeah. up. And we used to get that for twelve. And yeah. we, and he and he would set things up. He didn't set anything up. Last I, night. I think that even plays into what I was gonna say with we mentioned it when we were previewing the fight. I kind of said, does that benefit Ugas? Because Manny is not going to fight him on the outside. He's gonna have to come forward and throw combinations. Mm-hmm. And it did. Mm-hmm. It, he was in range. He was trying to overwhelm him with activity and, and yeah. volume punching. Yeah. And Ugas was like, okay, I, I got longer reach. <laughs> I'll sit here. And, and everything with Ugas, other than that that wide right hook, was very A to B. Mm-hmm. It's just one, two, mm-hmm. just, and obviously to the body. Mm-hmm. But Manny, being that close and being that, you know, I got to throw all these punches. And Ugas is like, okay, <laughs> you're right in my range, man. Amazing right composure. Boom, boom, yeah. Amazing. My yeah. dad always yeah. says, if you if you could do something that another fighter does, don't not do it and, and go to that fighter's level. You always fight at your level. And that's what Manny did. I'm not saying that Manny's on a higher level than Ugas or anything like that. Certainly before the fight, we thought that Manny was. But if anything, you could say that, Whatever the case was, that Manny did not use his feet, did not use a jab, did not try to use the angling, the angles that he normally uses with. He put, he took himself to the level of someone who can't do those things, and and it did not benefit him in that fight. Should have been back to back week, hey, weeks hey. of Cubans when having title fights. Ah, <laughs> this one, Carson hey. the Cubano. What's up? I'm Showtime Sean Porter. I'm Ant. Follow me on IG at with two T's. Let's do All it. Right, Let's do one. it again. Let's All right. It. Just introduce yourself. Okay. And then tell them, and then you tell them what to do. I'm Showtime Sean Porter. I'm Anthony Brenno. Carson A. Merck. Like, subscribe, comment. This is the Porter Way.